for this week's project, we're going to focus on making a couple third hands to help us out with welding. So the whole idea behind these third hands is to give us the ability to hold things in place while we weld so that as we are trying to tack stuff together we don't have to hold it with one hand and then use the other hand to tack which could make our tacks not accurate or we could possibly move the piece as we're trying to get set up to weld. But the two kinds we're going to make is a fixed kind where it has a 90 degree head, a big mass of steel in the middle to add some weight and some long bent legs in the back and the other one is going to be an adjustable one that uses a uh, chuck key from a drill press that broke on me and that will make it so we can adjust the length in here and change the size of it so if we need more reach we can do so if we don't we won't need to use as much but let's get into it so when it comes to building your third hand tool there's a few ways you can go about it um, I'm going to make two versions just to show you. Uh, one using a chuck as the base, that way we can change the size of the head that sticks out of it if you want. We can put a little shorter one, a little longer one, just for specialized jobs where we might need that extra reach. And then one using this one and a half inch diameter, four inch long uh, solid round as the mass in the middle to give some weight. But each one of these ones is about 15 inches long and you can see here that instead of heating them up and bending them I'm going to do a little bit more welding and what I initially did was you take it mark it down the middle cut it most of the way through and then you can very quickly and easily just bend it over so what we're going to do now is after we get these bent weld this back in here and grind it to a nice profile and then we're going to weld these bent ones to the bottom for the legs on both of these and these top ones will be bent to 90 degrees so you can also see here that what I did was I drilled a hole through the top tapped it and now I can put a copper contact tip in there so that when I'm welding things if I have a bad arc when it's holding it down it's not going to weld my third hand to the piece that I'm welding not necessary but just something that I've always wanted to try with these so something that we're going to give a go today It's not the prettiest weld, but we were able to fill those completely, and all I did was just... I'm going to try and not touch them because they're both all still kind of hot. But I just took my MIG gun, started on one side, and just did a couple quick stringers all the way across until it was mostly filled. And my plan is going to be to now weld the rest of these assemblies together, and then depending on how these welds look once it's finished, I may add a little bit extra weld to them or just leave them as is because uh, it's serving the purpose that it's needed to, just keeping that at that 90 degrees. So let's get to it.
All right, so we got the two of them done, which uh, you can see this one, big heavy duty one, fairly long with a long reach. You can see in the last video how it kind of helped me hold this one in place when I was going to weld it, and that's the whole idea behind these third hands. Just something to help hold things in place for you so you don't have to worry about using one hand to hold it, the other hand to weld with, just to make life easier for you. So the reason I like this style that has the chuck on it is because you can actually loosen this chuck up, rotate the head if you need to, so if you have to get into a weird angle to hold something into place, you can do so. And we can change the length of this where, and I wasn't thinking far enough ahead, because on the bottom side of this, I made it so this can't come out the back side, which I should have done so I could have just had a very long neck on here that could go all the way back here and that could have a very long adjustable head versus having to make a couple extra heads whether I want something short like this or much longer like this one. But I'll give you a couple examples of how these work here and see what you guys think. So the nice thing about this third hand is that it gives you the ability to focus on your technique if you're trying to tag things together, especially as a beginner welder, versus trying to hold it and grabbing these pieces like this, I could hold it and tack it and I could get it close to 90 intact, but that's only because I'm used to doing it this way. But if you're a beginner trying to keep this close to 90 when you're tracking, it can be pretty tough. And that's why this third hand really does come in handy. And it helps to hold plates, nuts, fasteners, and all we have to do is just set it like this and verify that it's holding it where we want it to. And there we go, there's about 90 degrees right in the middle of the plate. And what it does for me is it allows me to use both of my hands when I tack things together. And I already know that my piece is where it needs to be. And I can focus on tacking accurately and consistently. So that's really the nice thing about these uh, third hands is not only does it give you the ability as a beginner to hold things more accurately, but it's also a nice little weld project that you can start with. So all we need is just a few pieces of material, uh, not too complicated in the fabrication, just cut some round solid stock, some smaller pieces, large pieces, grind the ends together, tack it up and weld it, and it's just a good beginner piece and you will find that this is a very useful tool to have and you will use it pretty often down the road if you do have it. So not a bad project to start with and something I would recommend every welder to actually have. So thanks again for watching and we hope to see you again in the next video.